actor Lisa Moradion play the traumatized lead character Casey Morgan in the movie First Cop, which has gotten a great reviews. The 25-year-old actor who also cut a seat as a producer on the movie shares a Nollywood experience in our next special feature. Lisa Omar Dion has always nurtured a flair for acting right from childhood and she cut her teeth in the art at a tender age in a school drama. I played a character called Evita in a primary school play. It's a very strong story. She's a musical, she's a singer. She was a singer who rose above her background and her struggle and became a big star. Spawning from a family that takes pride in its success in the corporate world, Lisa was encouraged to study economics at the Lagos State University. She, however, never got her eyes off acting. Getting on the screen proved harder as she was consistently looked down upon at auditions and only landed minor roles when she is lucky enough to get any. It's a click-like industry. You have people doing things with particular people and if you're not a part of a particular clique, it would be very difficult for you to break into that clique. That's a little secret. Of course you get frustrated, but I, would, I was never discouraged because I knew where I was going and I knew what I wanted. So it never for one day stopped me. I would always break down and say, oh, why, you know? And, and be like, oh, okay, you, you know, oh, people don't really want to give you that chance. My mates are in school writing exams and not talking with their dads. Frustrated but not deterred, Lisa convinced her parents to bankroll a movie of her own. She went ahead to make First Cut, where she casted as a traumatized lead character alongside other Nollywood bigwigs, including Mona Lisa Chinda, Joseph Benjamin, and many others. We just have to bring this person on board, whoever she is. Mona, Li Mona Lisa is a very pleasant person. She's, um, she's an amazing person to me, and I, I met her when I, when I started this journey. She's been very, very supportive. So I had her on this project and she supported me. She backed me up. She's been there for me. You know, and she's a fantastic actor and she's been there. So she helped me to, her face helped me to sell this film. Casey! I'm gonna find a way to put you behind bars so I can move on with my life. Casey, me so I'm not just there because people don't understand the behind the scenes of what goes on. People only see the red carpet, people see the fame, people see the glamour, people see the, the outwards appearance. They don't really see the struggle that you go through trying to make it to the top and trying to make it as an actor in this country. Man, it's Casey. She's here. She just got in here two minutes ago. Lisa Mordion now has the attention of movie heads after a stellar performance in First Cut, taking pride in the fact that she seized the opportunity when it came, even though she had to create the opportunity by herself. Good music and lovely works of art. Art is more than what we present. We live in an image-based society, so art, no, driven. And then while in print, I was doing things in sculpture. There was nothing, no drama, not even makeup. I wanted to sweat. It's about using your gift to make an impact. And going the extra mile to give others a lift. They gave me access in the beginning, but when I started photographing, some of that group came and broke my camera. Tune in to Art House. Time to catch up with what is new in the ever-dynamic world of music and movies, so don't go away. Former Chocolate City singer Brymo has released the visual interpretation for his new single, One Pound. The Arambe singer, who had been off the mainstream radar since his contract controversy with Chocolate City, has returned with the new single which continues to highlight Brymo's bias for Afrobeat. The Saint Immaculate directed track was shot as a mini-documentary of the everyday life in Lagos 
with special emphasis on the scourge of poverty. Also, dance music star Inyanya has released the music video for his single, Gift, featuring Maven music boss, Don Jazzy. The heavy beat pumping love song rides on witty romantic innuendos and was shot in South Africa. Female hip hop star Eva Lodia has rejuvenated promotions for her debut album titled 1960 with the release of a new song, War Coming. The new track, which flaunts Eva's sleek reggae influence, features new B, Sir Dauda. War Coming is directed by award-winning cinematographer Max, who portrayed Eva as an African warrior. These are the times and the days, the count sharper than a thousand blades. You offer lies all the way, but you seek truth and abundant grace.